Hey guys, today we're going to be walking up and down a creek on private property in southern Ohio. My two older sons and I are going to be looking for various fossils such as horn coral, brachiopods and bryozoans, and maybe even some cephalopods and gastropods. In like two seconds, my son picks up this horn coral. What you got over there, son? What's that? I see it. Like a little piece of a horn coral. What's that, Bubba? Find something? Oh, that's, oh, that's a brachiopod. There's probably one in here, but it's not really much. I don't need to keep that one, probably. Hey, son. Yeah. Very fine, Bubba. I have no idea what that is. But my son found it. Let's see that mustache you got, but, bud. Uh, oh, funny. Look, look under here. So it's got to be something. I don't know what. Well, let's rinse it off and see what it looks like. What's that? Did you find your piece? Okay. My son just pulled this piece right out of that hole right there, and it's two of them stuck together. Let's wash it off and take a look at it. What'd you get, son? Nice. Where'd you find it? Just right over there? Yeah. Cool. So right now we're going to play a game of uh, hide and seek. Um, tell me when you see it. It's a nice one. It's got a rounded off tip. Let's wash it off. Take a look. Come here, Bubba. Nice. Ooh, that is a good one. Little salamander. What'd you find, son? It's a little one. Let me see. Oh, that nice. That's cool. Here, let's rinse it off. I'm going to rinse off this one right here.
Thank you. I'll we'll leave it. The ones that look like snail shells are called gastropods. Yeah, check this one here out. Yeah, that'd be a good one. That's nice. Let me rinse it off and get a look at it. And what kind of salamander is this? No clue. Pretty little guys, though. Got a nice uh, gastropod right there. Pull that right up out of the water. It's getting really dark on us and really windy. We might have to call our quits here in a minute and head back up. So we got to walk about through 10 acres of uh, stinging nettles and slippery muddy hill to get up there. Spotted this one pretty easy. Had some dirt on it, made it look really light colored. Ah, cool. Really nice. My son is having to use his flash because it's getting pretty dark uh, out here. I'm going to take a look at it without the flash. So it's got a little brachiopod uh, down here at the end of the horn coral. They're fossilized together. Let's rinse this off. And it's embedded in the matrix. Really nice piece. Piece of a cephalopod right here. That's a nice size uh, cephalopod too. Yeah. Oh yeah. You want it? Put it Weren't in you looking for that? That's cool. Ben, Ben, come look at this. Oh yeah, you found it. I see it. No, hold it up here so I can see it. Nice. Just got to find that kind of triangle uh, shape that's different. Oh, my son pointed me to this. I completely missed it. See, it's the same color as all the other rocks from the top because uh, the way the dirt settled on it. But, yep, there's your horn coral. There you go. Mm -hmm. Me to you. Oh, check out this little piece of a concretion. It split open and the little mud ball that was inside had broken out. Mm -hmm. See it? That's a piece of a concretion.
Oh, cephalopod. Yeah. Right there. It's embedded down in there pretty good. Check out that cephalopod. That's a big one. And a horn coral there in the back, and another horn coral right there, right there above my finger. And a horn coral right there, too. Nice. So there is a loose uh, brachiopod all by itself. Ooh, done. Looks like you missed under this rock. Yeah, come look at this. Two big ones. Oh, yeah, those are big, big ones. Nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not good That's nice, son. Really nice. No. Oh, they're together. Yeah, they're in a rock. Yeah. Big Here, let me see it. Yeah, it's a nice one. You want to wash it off? Mm -hmm. Orange. Yeah, I'll wash it off. Really nice. Almost kind of heart shaped too. Cool. That's broken up. Hello, little toady. I turned my head and I found this really nice brachiopod right there. What you got there, son? How small his eyes are compared to his head. <laughs> no crow daddy. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit better grip on him. See, when you hold a crow dad, you got to get it behind its claws, and it can't reach up and pinch you. Okay, do you see it? A little brachiopod. I just saw this uh, little bronchiopod right here. I thought I just saw that out of the corner of my eye, right where I was lifting up looking at that. There's a little horn coral. Nice. And over here on the side of the bank, there's a rock with a couple of horn coral on it. Let's take a look at it. Let's get it wet. Looks like there's another one here, another one there. Nothing really on the back. Oh, I didn't see that horn coral, horn coral, horn coral, horn coral, horn coral, horn coral, and horn coral. A lot of times when you go out rock counting here in the creek and you're looking for horn coral in specific, um, it's not hard to find them. What's hard to find are some good ones. A lot of them are buried into the matrix pretty well. Sometimes with other fossils and stuff, that's really cool. But a lot of them have uh, been so worn by water, they lost all kind of definition. Um, see, I could tell that this is a horn coral right here. And here's the end of it. It's just buried down into the rock, embedded into it. And so you'd have to extract it out, and that'll be a lot of work for just a little uh, horn coral that may or may not uh, come out. When you can find so many of them around here um, that have already uh, broken loose out of a rock. See, what happens is you'll have these uh, plates of these rocks in the side of a wall. And as the water level rises, uh, these things loosen up and the dirt stuff gives way and the rocks will fall down into the creek. And then next time the water rises up, 
the water will push the rocks down this way and the rocks will tumble and break a lot of these fossils loose. And that's why you can find loose uh, single points of horn coral. And a lot of times you'll find them down in the matrix still because they haven't been busted out yet. I don't know what it is. It's weird. My son just found this one and washed it off. Small plate uh, with at least three horn coral on there. Let's take a look at what Ben's got though. I have no idea what this is. Yeah. It almost looks like the hoof of a yeah, an animal or something like, like that. Hoof, but then it has like a little line right there, so I'm wondering if it's like a, a shell. Or yeah, a type of a, a mollusk or something. I don't know. All right, so we're still looking for more horn coral, and I've been flipping over some rocks, and I just moved a rock, and I saw something that was kind of interesting on this. Looks like something laid uh, some eggs on this rock. I have no idea what. If you know what this is, let me know in the comments. Oh, so my son Ben just uh, brought this over here to me. Man, that's covered in horn coral. That one's a There's big one. Side each other. Anything on the back? All still dirt. Yeah. Decent size ones. Oh, you just pick those up? Yeah, they're sitting beside nice. each other. My hands are dirty from grabbing the back of that rock from Ben. Let's see this one. Nice. Let's wash this one here off real quick. So I just pulled this up. <clears throat> I'm going to leave this here actually. Right there in front of our faces. How can we both miss that thing? Oh, I still got a little matrix oh, connected to it. I recognize that shadow right there and kind of divot. Looks like the end of a horn coral piece. Yeah, that thing's broken. I think it's a half a horn coral. See those striations? That's the inside of it. And I don't know. I like seeing the different uh, layers. You get like the clay and then the dirt and the rocks. And uh, you'll have a mixture up around one of these corners uh, up here. I think it's around that one. There'll be a kind of a clay limestone layer, little wall where there's usually a bunch of fossils coming out of that. Needs to get washed off. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Nice long one. Big as a finger or a little bigger. Son said he found this um, out of the wall right over there. He pulled it out and he dipped it down there in the water and then he handed it to me. Again, you could just really see uh, the difference in the different uh, layers. Uh, you got the dirt with a lot of loose rocks and you got a lot of compacted clay uh, with a lot of rocks in it too down here underneath. And out of that clay is where uh, a lot of those rocks are kind of falling out because this is a corner and that's where the water hits it and it goes around that corner. My well, son just brought me this rock. 
There's several on it here on the back. Let's wash it off. Take a look at it. So we've got at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? You find rock after rock that's just tons of these fossils all over it. Sometimes when you get it in the water it makes things pop. So let's uh, get it wet. See if we can get some colors to pop. Or maybe not. It just made it more shiny. Either way, it's really cool. I was going to look at this. Okay, that's just a rock. Well, I'm going to start raining in a minute. Probably going to need to get out of here. Right. Just pulled that out of the dirt. Put all kinds of fossils in it. See, this brachiopod looks like it's about ready to pop out. Same with that one. Well, guys, it's been lightning and thundering quite a bit. Uh, it hasn't started raining yet, but the wind's picking up. I think we're going to go ahead and head out. And we'll continue searching probably tomorrow or the next day. Uh, we've got a few more days here in Ohio still. So we'll, uh, we'll come back down here another time or two. See if we can't find some more fun stuff. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. God bless. Bye. 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Almost. About 2.55. And lightning bugs are out.